All right, this is my fifth time redoing it. First two times the game crash. The last two times the AI, the AI was screwing up, and for some reason they were breaking in the corners and turns th entering turn three, which make it completely stupid. I don't know what was going on, but Arca does run GNS physics. Uh, I I run GNS physics many times. Obviously, you know that, but. Never have I seen them hit the brakes in turns 3 and 4. So, we go to a more modern Talladega with a double yellow line. And, yeah. Just hope we don't screw up in this one either, because of my fifth time redoing it. And the field is rolling off. go. Pace cars are heading down pit road. Wonder if this Talladega will be good enough for some good old fashioned classic 2006 Talladega racing like we used to. Look at how small that cack fence is. And there it is, green flag. And wow, they're already going four wide on the beginning. At the beginning. Well, it looks like they were, but they stopped. I believe. Side by side for the lead already. Looks like the 45 and the 2 want to go. 68 on the hall, the white top near the wall, looking he wants to fall back. Would the strategy work? Wood and Cherry actually did not cross the line in first. The 77 and Joseph Curtis up on the bottom. Leading the bottom line, but it looks like he's gonna lead the whole field just in entering the corner. Can maybe not, and Renova ditches him. Well, actually, Curtis just moved up to the middle. And here comes Nova now, looking to lead the first lap. Goes to the middle, Noodles and Stewart, four wide for second. They have their nose stuck in, so he can't make the blocking move, and he will lead the first lap. They're four wide. Gates on bottom, 66, 22 up in the middle, 77 up top, 45 loses the 77. He was drafting with him and then he moves out. Look at the racing we're having here, 3 wide, about to be 4 wide, James. He's trying to re trying to re take that win back. That was very close at Boston. Whoa, I don't like the looks of this. Pack is splitting. Guess they went five wide, maybe. Well, this is where all the action is right now. Double zero, looking on the bottom, trying to take the lead side by side, and he'll lead that lap. Some good Talladega racing we're having. Raymond Fisher up front. Has not won a race this season, looking for that first win in the hot tub. Race and whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Close call right there. Oh, contact, more contact. Oh, there they go, there they go. They all scattered right up the top. Oh, man. Cherry got involved and all oh, the 266. Around she goes. Oh, man, Henry Nova. Just got a piece of it. As they race it back to the line, PJ Williams taking, trying to take the lead away, lead it under this first, lead on this first caution lap, and no, he does not. 35 takes the lead under this caution flag. As we take a look, looks like staying at the back wasn't a good idea. You see the 16 and the 52 make contact. That just creates a big scuffle. Surprisingly, the wreck wasn't big as we thought it would be, but uh, to some drivers it is. Warren Cherry, nowhere to go. He started on the pole, plows into two drivers. 
Then the 20 goes around, that puts the 66 on the wall, come back down from the 58 who has some rear end damage. She goes down to the apron and whoa, just clipped Nova just a bit, not too much damage. But the 10, 52, 02. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't know about the 52 and the 02, but it looks like the 10, he's out of contention of winning this race. Looks like the 35 is gonna go down following the pace car. So the 10 of Warden Cherry, first to last, he's gonna finish, start at first, finish last. Of course you know that. So top two, make that, yeah, yeah, top two, never, never mind. Our two rookies, and of course you know Talladega, one of the best tracks to get a rookie to win. To get an easy win, actually. Could be your only win. And there it is, green flag. Well, win is still a win. And we get back under green. Kurt and Wadden to wash her in. Maybe. Looks like they want the work. Did not. BJ Williams. We get some help from pro driver Chris Washer. Has not won the Arca series just as yet. The one now closing in. There's three rookies fighting for the lead. Fisher's now closing in. He led a few. Well, actually, I think he did. Well, he, he was up in front earlier. Three wide for the lead. 35 coming off pit road. Something goes wrong, maybe. They all bunch right back up. J. Williams leading the field. Drops out the top 10, only in that one turn. Two turns, actually. Here comes Fisher. Looking on the bottom, the six. Who uh, let that out? Believes the one. No, the one did. Except the scoring was a bit cr crazy. I don't know. Well, Fisher got up to the lead now. He get takes it out, takes over the lead, leading a whole bunch of drivers right behind him. Take a look at the rear cam. See how it feels. I have a whole pack right behind you. Nine going up top. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, we gotta spin, we gotta spin. Got a rack, got a big rack. Never mind. So you race it back to the line. All these drivers on the apron scattering. Oh man, the 94 is involved. Hmm, but whoa, the 09 is around. And a 66 got some damage. Looks like there is a trend, maybe. I don't know. Whoever leads it under caution or on the on the green flag. Oh, once the green flag drops after the caution, looks like they wreck. It just happened to Cherry who started on the pole. Now we're t now out of the race because of the damage he received. Now PJ Williams, who led on that caution flag, just wrecked. So, will Joseph Curtis wreck? We'll just have to wait and see. Let's take a look. Take a look. Uh, oh man, the 45 trying to stick his nose. Don't bump draft in the corners. Yep, that just caused a big mess. And that 94 took one hard hit. If I can just get the camera. There we go. Take a look at that one more time. Oh. Man, that's 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 hard to watch. Even though with the safer barrier, that's pretty hard. Lucky it's there. And uh, just a three car wreck, but yeah. Looks like they try to spin the twelve out. Then the 09. They're all trying to avoid the wreck to go all the way to the apron, slowing down, and then there's contact with the twenty and the ninety no, fifty eight. So then when Nova gets well, he, cro he crossed the pit road line, so he turned to the right, I mean the left, spin himself out. Then the 66 got right into, into him, puts even more damage on that 66 car. Getting ready for the restart, so now the 1094. Hmm, looks like the 77 will be next. So there, both of them are out who are leading the field. And we'll see if Joseph Curtis will wreck and 
put that car behind the wall, but uh, you never know. It's Talladega. You can go to first to last and last in a lap, so yeah. That was the one thing that those two drivers were doing. They were up front and they lost it. Kyle now moving. He has noodles right behind. Now the grand season in the Arca series. A small little pack right here who all damaged cars. Plus those faster damaged cars, but yeah. They bunch right back up again. Chris Kyle now making the move. Now we got 32 winning at Taldega in real the real Arca series. Here comes Noodles. He's one of. Wait, has he? Forgot. Don't think he's one of Taldega. Maybe he has. Maybe he hasn't. Four wide. Racing. For six. Better be careful. Caution comes out now. This race is over. Noodles comes up front. Just hope that this race does not end under caution. But it's Taldega! I don't want no close race to end on her caution. But the, with the way they racing, I think they're gonna create a caution here. Ooh, that was close to one trying to squeeze in. He does it. So Noodle's now leading the field. With a 69 and 1. Top two drivers not having good season, but they're up in front. All because of the Talladega magic. Which is the draft. Or no. With its craziness. Four wide there. Better hang on. I think it'll be best if we were just to keep it three wide. Make it four wide when the leader takes the white flag. See the 77. Just he was leading that pack. From the restart. Look where he is now. He's in danger of wrecking. Because that's where all the action is. With these drivers leaning. The 82. Don't do that. You have room on the bottom. Take the lower lane. Take the lower lane. She doesn't want to back out. Whoa, contact, contact, contact. Oh, God, so much contact. Damn, that scared me. Moving into the lead. Dylan T. Teammate. Oh, no, 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 no. They spin. And it's over. One basic spin ends this race. Kyle's now around as well. And that's it. It's over. Oh, we got a bigger one! Well, the caution's already out. Why not wreck again? Oh, boy. Oh, my. Oh, God, we got a bigger wreck. I got a car upside down. I got a car upside down. Jerry Garrett's upside down. Well, this thing turned into something even worse. Well, the race will end on a caution. Looks like Dylan will go back to victory lane, but for the first time in the Arca. Take a look at the replay. One big rookie mistake. Don't bump draft into turns. The two try to. You look though. And then it just caused a wreck. Just what was to be a basic spin. The 99 went around. Then the 6 goes all the way around. Then the 32 loses control. Then he spins. That causes even a bigger wreck. Watch. Two different wrecks in one caution. This is gonna get big. And this is gonna be bad right here. Oh man, two cars. So 32 upside down and a 52 upside down. Oh boy. Then the 04, the 20, we got four cars upside down. Look at all that debris, but that 20 car took one wild tumble. How did the 04 go around? Oh yeah, he was right behind the 52. Oh boy, that's a big hit. And then here comes a bigger hit. Bam! Flips both the drivers, but that 20 going through the grass, flipping in the trioval on its nose. You know, every Talladega race Oh boy, man, that's a big, bigger hit, right? Another big hit. 
And then, oh, the 20 goes upside down again. Wow. It's one of those moments when you think it's over, but it's not. Every Talladega race we're going to have only one lap pace laps. I'm tired of this thing entering under caution. What could have been an exciting finish. And there you have it. Top two are teammates, so it's a one-two finish under caution. Uh, victory lane, here we go.